Balgoni Castle. On the southern bank of the River Leven, which runs in an easterly direction from a lock of the same name, till it is lost in Largo Bay, at the mouth of the Firth of Forth, stands the castle of Balgoni. It is in the parish of Markinch, in Fifeshire. This castle is evidently of great antiquity, though the exact area, in which it was erected, is uncertain, but as a striking similarity is, in many respects, observable between that and St. Andrew's Cathedral, it may be supposed coeval with the latter, and therefore the production of the twelfth century. It formerly belonged to the ancient family of Sibold, and was purchased from them, in the reign of Charles I, by General Leslie, who was created Earl of Leven in 1641. It has ever since continued their property, and gives a title to the Earl's eldest son. Originally it was of greater extent than at present, nor are there any remains of the old buildings, except the tower, a gateway, a wall, and the foundations, on which the more modern part is built. The bank, on which the castle stands, is about thirty-six feet above the river, and very commanding. The whole building is of a quadrangular form, and stands on an area of one hundred and thirty, five feet by one hundred and five. Within the walls there is an open court 108 feet by 65. The tower is placed on the north side, and near the northwest corner of the square. It forms a rectangle of 45 feet by 36, and is 80 feet high. The top is surrounded with battlements, which project a foot beyond the walls, and from the broad shadows formed by a declining sun, frequently produce the most picturesque effect. The roof, which has often been repaired since its first erection, is raised in the center, flat towards the battlements, and covered with stones. The two lower stories are vaulted, and the walls are eight feet thick at the base. Within there is a room called the chapel. The architecture of this tower is still very perfect, and the interior has been repaired and fitted up by the present Lord Balgoni, who makes it his summer residence. Beneath the tower are still the remains of the dungeon. Adjoining to the eastern side, and extending to the northeast corner, along the bank of the river, is a house built by General Leslie, and at the eastern end, running north and south, is another, erected by the present Earl's grandfather. The view, here given, is from the opposite side of the Leven, and forms, with the tower, General Leslie's house, the river, trees, and bridge, a most beautiful and picturesque scene. From the book Scotia Depicta published in 1801.